class, I'm really going to focus on breath and the diaphragmatic breathing as a way to stress relief, to relax, to reflect, and to hopefully ease out of our Friday. If you had a really long, crazy week like I did, and if you're ready for the weekend, or you know, maybe you have a, a really busy week coming up. Um, so it's gonna be a nice, relaxed, easy type of class. Uh, I'm, again, really excited to be doing this class with Create Now. Um, my founder of the company and my business partner, Jill Collins, uh, is the one who got me hooked up with Create Now. I'm really excited and happy to be doing this second class. Um, our company, Cathartic Art, is a performance-based company, and our philosophy is we advocate mental health through art, performance, and the creative process. And it definitely aligns uh, very well with Create Now and all the different art disciplines. We are a multidisciplinary company and we do everything from visual arts, performing arts, to breath work, to makeup. So definitely check us out. We're at um, catharticart.org and uh, you can also check out our Instagram as well. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start. Um, if you have any sort of yoga mat, you can use that. I'm sitting on a yoga mat right now, just a sticky mat. If you don't, you can sit on a towel or you can just sit on the floor. I'm also in some yoga clothes, something stretchy, but you don't have to be in that. You can be in anything that makes you feel comfortable as long as you have some kind of movement that you can do. We're not gonna move too much and uh, everything is gonna be on the floor today, so we're not going to be up and down. We're just going to be all nice and relaxed. So the most important thing that I try to use this practice and this technique for specifically today is to recenter, relax, and reflect on either the day or the week or something I'm going through. Maybe there's been like a really difficult time that I've had and I just need to get it off. I just need to let go of it. Uh, I found that this practice really enables you to just focus in, relax, and really hone in on that breath and the expansion and um, contraction of breath and how powerful it is for the body. So I may sound kind of silly, but environment is really important. The environment that we are in sets the tone for our mood. So for example, if you're in a really chaotic environment that has lots of stuff going at it, like what we're going through right now with COVID, uh, a lot of stress, a lot of high energy, a lot of high anxiety. I know I personally feel pretty uh, filled with anxiety, especially now that things are opening up. You know, what's gonna happen? Um, how close can you be to somebody? What can you do? Do you wear a mask? Do you not wear a mask? There's a lot going on. So it's a lot of tension, bubbling, 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 bubbling. So the environment is really important. Um, this is just my bedroom. If you, you know, don't have a space, Maybe just go outside if you have just a little area, maybe a chair, just anything that is your space that you can make your own. Um, I have a candle, and I know that sounds very wooey, <laughs> but it really helps. It really helps to kind of set the intention that you want and kind of just gives you a little bit of peace, relaxation. So if you have a candle, Maybe it's scented with something nice like mint or eucalyptus, some sort of nice plant if you have. If not, no worries. doesn't really matter. Also, I'm going to play some uh, ambient music. It's just going to be some light, relaxing music. Uh, if you can't hear me at any point in time, please go ahead and comment, and I will turn it down for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start. And hopefully you can hear the music. It's just nice and light. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to start in what's called easy pose. It's just cross-legged, right? You're just going to cross your legs, have your knees out. If this doesn't feel good and it hurts maybe your hips where we hold a lot of tension or maybe in your knees, you can go ahead and just stretch your legs out like this, out straight. I'm going to go ahead and do an easy pose. And I'm just going to drop in. I'm going to drop my breath down. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand right here on my stomach, right where my abdomen and my diaphragm is. And what I want to do is I want to expand that breath out. I want to take a nice deep full breath and let it out. 
nice big expansive breath and let it out good we're gonna do four more just like that if you want to close your eyes with me you can if you don't feel comfortable you don't have to not a problem nice big breath and release nice big breath in and release. We're going to do two more. Make sure you're expanding your hands. You want that breath really deep into your diaphragm. You don't want any of that chest breathing, all that deep diaphragm breathing. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. So that's going to be just our foundation. That's our base. If at any point in time you get lost in what I'm doing or something doesn't feel right, you're just like, I don't know what she's talking about, just go back to that nice, big, full, expansive diaphragm breathing, okay? So the first thing we're going to do after that is uh, a hold and release. We're going to take a nice, big, deep inhale still into our diaphragm, and we're going to hold, and we're going to build on the hold. So we're going to hold at the top of the inhale, so we fill all the way up, we're gonna hold for three seconds, and then we're gonna exhale. Then we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna inhale, we're gonna hold for four seconds, and then we're gonna exhale. When you exhale, I want you to think about really pushing out your air smooth. Don't force it out, don't, right? Don't drop the breath out. Smooth, even breathing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put your hands in your stomach, nice big breath in, and hold and exhale. Nice and smooth. You want to think of it as a color flying out, let it go out nice and relaxed. Okay, take that nice inhale and hold at the top and exhale. This is actually a control of your diaphragm muscle and it helps with anxiety. It helps to control maybe if we're having a really stressful time, taking these nice deep full inhalations and holding at the top allows that muscle to work and get that air up and really fill those lungs and give us that relaxation. So we're going to keep going. We're going to go up to six. Okay, so we're up to five. Ready? Nice big deep breath and hold. And exhale. Good job. Nice deep inhale. Last one. Nice and big. Hold it at the top. Big, full, expansive stomach. Big diaphragm. And let it out. Excellent. My cat is at the door. He really wants to come in. You really wants to do some breathing work with us. So that's pretty much the foundation of any breath work. You just want to start to warm up that body, warm up that muscle. We're going to go into some stretching right now. So right here, right here, and all in this area. So I'm going to take this off so you can see. All of this area is considered a stress and tension based area. Our trapezius muscle, our cytochloromastoid muscle, I always say that a little wrong. Um, all of these muscles right in here, they're all stress related. We hold our stress there. So we're gonna do a couple stress relieving exercise stretches and breath to help relieve that. So really nice and easy, you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna put your ear on your shoulder. My ear does not touch my shoulder, so don't worry. You don't want this though, because it's crunching up the shoulder. You want that nice, relaxed shoulder, and you just want to lean over. You're going to take your left hand. You don't want to pull. You just want to take the weight of your hand and let it come over. And then you want to breathe into this aspect right here, into everything you're opening up. You want to breathe in this area. And I know that you're not actually breathing there, but that's the reflection part, right? You're thinking about where your breath is going. So we're going to take a nice deep breath and we're going to go all the way up and hold at the top for five and then release. Inhale, hold the top, 
and release. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and switch out. Same thing with our right side. We're going to just lean over. And again, it doesn't matter if your shoulder's up here. I'd rather it not be. I'd rather you just get that muscle group right here relaxed. You might feel a little stretch. If your shoulder does creep up, you can go ahead and inch it back down. Just gentle push. None of this is forceful. Everything is very relaxed and nice and easy. So we're going to go ahead and lean over, ear to shoulder. Take that right hand, put it on your side of your face. Let the weight of your hand take you over. Remember, you're not yanking or pulling. We're going to do a nice deep inhale. Hold the top for five seconds and then nice exhale. Ready, big inhale. Hold at the top. And release. Exhale. Beautiful. So we're going to stay in this area. Again, it's a really, really big source of a lot of holding of tension, of stress from the day. Maybe you had an argument with someone. Maybe it was just a really rough day. Or maybe you're not feeling so well. So we're going to interlace our hands just like this. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. I'm going to go ahead and take my hands and place them at the base of my skull. Remember, don't yank down, okay? We're just leaning down. I'm going to show you my big, expansive belly, okay? Don't be afraid to let your belly get big. It's probably one of the only times I would be like, yeah, let your belly get really big. It's fine. Go ahead and big breath in. Ready? Inhale. Hold at the top. Hold. More. And exhale. Remember that full exhalation. Make that stomach concave in, right? We're going to do it again, but this time we're going to turn to the right, center. Then we're going to take another breath and turn to the left. And here we go. We're going to take a nice big full inhale. Expansive abdominal. Turn to the right. Hold. Exhale. Let that stomach go all the way in. We're going to do the same thing to the left. Can take a nice big inhale. Turn that head to the left. And hold it. Exhale. Remember, having that concave, you want that belly to come all the way in. Think that somebody is pushing in on your belly button, okay? That's going to make that full, deep exhalation. You're going to drop all of that air from the bottom to the top out of your body so that your lungs and your diaphragm have that expansive quality to take that big, full breath. All right, turn back towards you. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our sides. Again, the whole area of our shoulders and our sides and our neck holds a lot of tension. So I'm going to concentrate on my ribs. And all of this area is where we have our lung capacity. So we want to expand and open it. So I'm just going to take my left hand. I'm going to put it on the floor. If you want, you can really outstretch yourself. I'm going to go in between. So if you are a beginner to stretching and breath work, maybe just right here. If you're a little more advanced, you can go all the way out, but make sure that hip stays down on the floor. You don't want your hip to pop up. You want to stay grounded in that pose. All right, so we're going to take that other arm, the right arm up, and I like to look up, but if that hurts your neck, you can look down or you can look straight. And what you can't see, because the camera won't allow it, is my arm is arching over my head like this, but I'm thinking, Big, full expanse. I'm going to do that same breath. I'm going to take that nice, big inhalation. Hold it up for five. And then let it go nice and smooth. Take that big breath in. Hold it at the top. And exhale. And release. Opposite side. A lot of these exercises are done in dance and in yoga and in different types of voice and speech practice. So if you're seeing similarities, you're right. A lot of them cross paths and they definitely do a lot of similarities. Same side, oh, excuse me, opposite side, but same exercise. We're going to go ahead and take that arm, lean it out. Remember, you want to 
full expanse of this area, full breath in. So take that arm up and over your head. Remember, you don't have to look up. You can look down if you like. Nice big breath in and hold at the top. Inhale and hold. Exhale and release. Beautiful, nicely done, guys. All right, so what we're going to do now is called a simple twist. Same, we're still working on all of this area, the stress tension area, the rib area, all of this area. But these are our stretches. We're going to go into massaging a little bit. So you can have yourself in that easy pose, which is just like a cross leg pose. You can put yourself in a butterfly or bodhikanasana. Or if you want, you can go ahead and put yourself in a full pose. Whatever feels comfortable for you. I'm going to go kind of in the middle. I'm just going to do an easy pose. And we're going to take our right hand to our left knee. And we're going to take the left hand and just place it behind our back, right by your backside. You're going to lift up your chest and don't wrench your body. You're just twisting. But what we're going to do, which is a little different, is we're going to take the breath in. And as we turn, we're going to exhale. So it's like a nice color or a nice smooth velvety chocolate as you turn. So start straight. Have the hand right behind you. Get ready to twist over. Take that big inhalation. And as you twist, exhale that air out. Hold. And back to center. Same thing with our other side. So you're going to take your right hand, put it right back behind where your bum meets the floor. You're going to get that diaphragm ready for the inhalation. And then we're going to exhale it. We're not holding in for this one. So take that nice big breath. And as we twist, exhale. Nice, smooth, easy exhalation. And back to center. Beautiful, nicely done. So we're gonna go ahead and put our legs out long. If they're feeling a little tight, maybe your knees hurt, go ahead and bang them up and down, nice little bounces. Give them a little flex of the feet or the toes. If you want, you can even reach out, grab those toes. And we're gonna have our feet long. And if you're a little bit more flexible, this may be a little easy for you. If you're not so flexible, do not worry. I'm gonna go kind of in the middle. I'm gonna show you different levels that you can do. So for this one, you're just going to start with an inhalation. You're going to take a big breath in, hold at the top. We're going to hold for five again. And then as we go down, we're going to lean over our legs, okay? I can touch my toes. Some people can't. That's fine. If you just come to your shins or maybe your knees, totally fine. So here we go. Let's go ahead and take a nice big inhalation from our diaphragm. Raise your arms up. And as you lean forward, exhale. I totally forgot to hold for five. My bad, guys. Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Inhale. Hold the top for five. And exhale. Good. We're just going to hold here for just a little bit. Relax. And again, if you're here, that's fine as well. Beautiful job, guys. Okay, go ahead and relax. What we're gonna do now is our hips. Our hips are another really, really very, very tight area. We hold a lot of tension in these hips. If you can't see what I'm doing, I'm actually just in a diamond pose, just like this, okay? I'm gonna touch my toes together. If this doesn't feel good and your knees are a little tight, go ahead and push your feet out more, totally fine. I'm going to kind of open up those hip sockets a little bit maybe oiling up of your hip sockets, giving it some breath. Remember I talked about earlier how we're going to send the breath to our neck. We want to think and have that reflection of our body that we're sending our breath to our hips. Big inhalation. And as we have that big inhalation, we're just going to gently press down on our hips, very gently. Don't yank or pull or do anything too aggressive. So nice big inhalation. We are not holding for this one. You're just going to exhale, push down. Big inhale, release, exhale, push down. And for this one, we're going to lean our chest forward. 
See how I'm not dumping in like this? I want to keep my collarbones nice and wide. Lean in. Beautiful. Come on out of it. Excellent. Super easy. Some really nice, good um, breath, diaphragmic work to kind of release that tension in your, your hips. Some other things that we can do for our hips uh, is doing a twist a little bit more like we had done, which is uh, in yoga too, in dance, you can do a twist more like this, which will stretch out that hip a little bit more. But for today, just because we're kind of easing into the weekend, I'm just going to keep it nice and easy. So we're going to move from our stretches and we're going to move on to our massage part of this class. All right. So I'm going to take this off again to give you guys a visual. We have this huge, massive muscle in our back called the trapezius. It kind of looks like a really big bat wing. It comes from here and goes up and has insertion points in your neck to here. It comes down to here. It goes all the way down. It is a really big muscle and it also holds a lot of tension. A lot of tension. Uh, for example, if you see people punched over like this or maybe they're even rounded that's a lot to do with the trapezius muscle creeping up on the back. So what we're going to do is something called a trapezius release. If you have someone, a friend, or someone you trust uh, that wants to do this with you, you can do it together, and you can have someone sit behind you, and they can actually do the trapezius release. It gets a little intense. But if you don't have anyone and you're just by yourself, you can totally do this yourself. So you're just going to take your hands like this. You're going to place them right here in this area right here. So right where your neck comes down and starts your collarbone, okay? This fleshy part right here is the trapezius. And we're gonna kind of knead, like we're almost kneading bread, like a kitty cat doing some, you know, pawing, okay? So take a deep inhale, diaphragm breath. Grab onto those trapezius and Exhale, breathe it out. If that doesn't feel like it's enough and you want more, you can actually take that trapezius muscle, pinch it, and pull it up. It's very intense, so ease into it. I'm going to do kind of in the middle, okay? I'm going to show you on this side. So I'm going to take that big breath in, take that hand. I'm going to pinch and exhale. Big breath in. Pinch and exhale. Now you could be doing it to the same side, or you could do it like I am to either side. Okay, you can take that nice big diaphragm breath in. Pinch and release. Big breath in. Pinch and release. Beautiful. Hope that felt good. Always feels good for me. Definitely. I get really, really tight and really tense up here, so it's a really, really good one. So moving along to our massage, we're going to go from that trapezius right to our neck. So again, these neck muscles right here, I'm stressing them out so you can see them, but they hold all that tension. Literally, as if you were going like that. That's the muscle group that holds that stress and that tension. And it goes right up into your scalp, uh, excuse me, your skull right here and right in here. So it affects the jaw, it affects your shoulders, it affects a lot of different areas. So what we're going to do, just a gentle release of that muscle. Same that we did when we were leaning over, but this time we're going to get a little bit more into it. So you're going to lean your ear over as if you were going to touch your shoulder, but remember you don't have to, just keep it relaxed. And you're just going to draw that muscle down and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And think that that breath is reflecting up into that area. You're putting that diaphragmic breath right into that area. A nice big inhale. Exhale. Breathe. And do one more on the side. Inhale. Exhale, draw it down. I like to use these three fingers, but if you want to use these two, it's totally fine. I'm going to do the opposite side. I'm going to lean my left ear over. I'm going to take that nice big breath. 
draw it down. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale, draw it down. Make sure you're not forgetting about your diaphragmic breath. Big, expansive breath. Full up. We're going to fill every area, right? Big breath. Draw it down. Exhale. We'll do one more. Big breath in. Draw it down on that muscle. Exhale. Beautiful. I'm going to do one of my favorites and one of my most difficult areas, our sinuses. I don't know if you have problems with sinuses like I do, but I have sinus problems all the time, especially with the changing of the season, and ugh, it's pretty bad. And it causes me a lot of stress, and it makes me not feel very good. And I have to breathe through my sinuses, so this is kind of a win-win for the sinuses and for your diaphragm breathing. So you're going to take a nice big breath in. Your two fingers, just like this, and you're just going to massage and exhale out. I don't know if you can hear that, but the breath kind of stops and starts as you do that. So big inhale in. Exhale out. Good. So our sinuses aren't just here. They are all over our face and in the back. So we're just going to take those big breaths in, and we're going to massage all around our eyes, up into our temples. Almost as if you're washing your hair, right? Like you do this with your hair, but you're doing it on your face. That's all that sinus area. Don't forget about that breath. Inhale. Exhale, breathe it out. If you want, if you're bold and brave, you can take your two fingers, put them right here, right here, and gently press. Don't press too hard, because your eyes are there and your sinuses are very sensitive. Inhale. Gently press. One more inhale. Big diaphragmic breath. Exhale. Beautiful. One more place we're going to do a massage, and it's going to be this clavicle deglige neck area. I consider this area a really big part of my tension because as women, we hold a lot of tension. As men, we hold a lot of tension. Um, but, you know, for ladies, we wear bras, and it definitely puts a lot of stress and tension right here. So I like to really focus on this area. So I'm going to take my either three fingers or two fingers, whatever feels comfortable. Remember that breath as you're doing it. And we're just going to go small circles all along this area, just like that. We're going to go back and forth on our breath. So we're going to start in the center. Nice big inhale. And exhale. Draw the circles out. It's not really the pectoral muscle. It's a little above the pectoral muscle you're trying to get, but the pectoral muscle is involved. I'm going to go all the way out to your shoulder where the deltoid comes in, this muscle right here. Okay? I'm going to take a nice big breath. We're going to go back into the medial line. Inhale. Bring it right back in. Exhale. Good. You can even go up the clavicle, just like this. Gentle pushing, gentle circles. Beautiful. I'm just going to turn my music down just a bit. All right. Nicely done, you guys. Okay, moving on to the last part of this class. It's going to be the uh, contraction and expansion. So we're going to go back to um, that. One second, guys. Hold on. I'm sorry about that. We're going to go back to that holding for four, five, six, right, where we held. But this time we're going to try to hold a little bit longer. We're going to try to hold to eight. It's a long time, but I think you guys can do it. So we're going to put our hands on our diaphragm, abdominal, stomach area. You're going to take a nice big breath in. You're going to hold at the top. But this time we're going to start at five, okay? We're going to work our way up to eight. Remember, not this breathing, this breathing. All right? Inhale. Here we go. Take a nice big inhale, expand that abdominal, hold at the top, smooth exhale, like it's velvety chocolate pudding, which you can eat after this because you get a reward for doing breath work. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to breathe in, we're going to hold for six, nice big inhale, 
Hold the guitar. Beautiful. Nice big inhale, we're gonna hold for seven. Hold the top. Exhale. Okay, we're gonna do one more, we're gonna hold for eight. Really nice big inhale. Last one, really make it count, really expand. Remember, don't worry about big fat belly. You want it, you want that big Buddha belly, big and big and big. Hold. Exhale. Smooth like velvety chocolate. Beautiful, good job guys. So the last thing that we're gonna do is we're going to do a breath count. Okay, so the breath count is uh, all about the expansion, all about what you just did. And now we're just building on top of that and it kind of invigorates you a little bit. So we've kind of done some really mellow relaxation and this is just gonna be a little bit of a spark to just kind of get you through the rest of the night. So we're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna count. But as we count, we're gonna Exhale and push all the air out. So I'm going to demonstrate real quick, okay? So it's inhale, big diaphragmic breath. All the air comes out. One by two. So I say one by two, one by two by three, one by two by three by four, one by two by three by four by five by six, and so on and so on. But you do it on one breath. So you really build up that muscle, that strength, that contraction and expansion, okay? It's really, really good for all of that lung capacity. We're gonna start, we're gonna move gradually up. Remember, exhale fully. Nice big inhalation. Let it all out. One by two. Inhale. One by two by three. Inhale. One by two by three by four. Inhale. One by two by three by four by five. Do you see as I'm doing this, my hand is going from here and in. I'm gonna do it from the sides. That same thing that I talked about is if someone's pushing in on your belly button. Okay, now we're gonna go up to six. Ready? Big inhale. One by two by three by four by five by six. I guess you get five, but we'll just go to six. We're gonna go to seven. We're gonna go all the way up to ten. Ready? Inhale. One by two by three by four by five by six by seven. You should be completely out of breath and that finger should be all the way deep, deep within. You shouldn't have any expanse at that point. Let's go to eight, nice big expanse. Big diaphragmic inhale. One by two by three by four by five by six by seven by eight. Pushing all the way in, big inhale. One by two by three by four by five by six by seven by eight by nine. One to go. You got this, guys. Big inhale. And exhale all the way out, letting that go all the way back to your spine. One by two by three by four by five by six by seven by eight by nine by ten. If you're a little out of breath by ten, totally fine. Don't worry. I am too. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming to my breath work class. I hope that you feel a little more relaxed, a little more reflective on yourself and you know the work that you put in because you did the work. So now reap the rewards. And a couple of things, if you wanna know a little bit more about Create Now, visit uh, createnow.org and if you're interested in my company please visit catharticart.org follow us on Instagram we would love to have some new people we are always interested in different types of 
art and performance, as a professional actor and as a teaching artist. I love to see new art. I love to see TikTok videos. Uh, I love to see poems and drawings. I'm a big fan of many different disciplines of art. This behind me actually is a shameless plug. Um, this is actually a abstract painting that a Peruvian artist did of me when I was modeling many, many years ago uh, when I lived in Denver. So I am a big fan of all, all art, and I'd love to see your art. So please come visit um, Cathartic Arts, and thank you so much for enjoying my class, and hope to see you guys soon. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I hope it's restful and peaceful, and I hope everything goes well for you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great night, guys. Thank you.